Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting any blackberries this year. Um, I was just checking our blackberry patch out back there and I think it's it's done. We haven't really taken care of it all winter and uh, they were getting really big and seedy anyway. I'm not sure how long blackberry bushes last. I'm just out here picking up some stuff that the kids left in the yard. Um, it has been just a quintessential summery day, even though it's springtime yet. Guys, there's so many life updates and things to catch you up on. Just the kids are growing like weeds. Miller just got his first haircut and I don't know why I put it off for so long because it was getting so gross and yucky in the back. But I just like, I just don't want to give him a haircut yet. He's not even 18 months old. My baby's never have a lot of hair like I know people that are giving their three month old haircuts and stuff so that's definitely not us but anyway my sister did um, trim his hair up in the back so it's still all the baby hair on top but the back is trimmed now Ivani is finishing out her kindergarten year she has graduation this coming week and yeah it's gonna be so cute with their little blue hats that they throw and their robes and everything <sighs> they're starting on our patio this week so that will be exciting ripping up the whole backyard I'm sure it'll be very dirty and muddy she just had track and field it was so fun she's not like the super competitive person she's just like lives for praise she's like a classic oldest if you're saying good job she's happy and so of course everybody's cheering all the kindergartners on but she did win um, I think it was the beanbag race where you put a beanbag on your head and run so go her I think we successfully got to the point where Miller is done with his morning naps so that's great just in time for summer we got a quarter of a beef to put in our freezer so um, we actually had a lot of ground beef and burgers left over from our previous one so I need to really be cooking through that stuff because we want to get started on our new beef obviously and my parents actually raise I think this time they were Angus I don't know sometimes they do herfords different things but yeah they raise them in their meadow and then um, we just pay for the butchering fee and then the cost per pound which is a lot better than you know traditional grocery stores you can kind of see the demolition zone behind me here that's all going to be getting ripped up and um, yeah, I think it'll be good things. It's just not cheap, obviously, but we've been wanting to do this for so long and we entertain and host a lot. So I think it will get used. And I'm sure a lot of you have watched our um, big news video, um, Josh changing his careers. I'm still working through that. So um, I don't know why it's like, it's just blowing my mind that he's not into construction anymore. Although he he's doing construction projects over there. Like it's not totally changing, but he's been working in the trailer and like there's only a few people that know the recipe. So um, if somebody has off, then he has to work in the trailer and he enjoys it. But it's like, what? He comes home after like making donuts. He'll see my friends there and stuff. They come with their families or whatever. And yeah, it's just so weird. It's fun to hear his stories, but at the same time, I'm still still definitely adjusting <laughs> but actually i'm gonna take you guys along with me tomorrow i'm actually gonna be working on the donut trailer they were short on help but yeah it's gonna be a busy couple days here so i'm gonna take you guys along with me right now i'm actually baking chocolate chip cream cheese cupcakes i will leave the recipe for you down below in the description box if you want to make them they are some of our family's absolute favorites and it's actually a recipe that i grew up with my mom making as young as i can remember like when i was four years old i can remember her making those cupcakes so they are super good Okay, the children are napping, so I need to sit down and get to work on some last minute editing. I don't have my day tomorrow to edit because I'll be on the donut trailer, donut and soft pretzels, I guess. I'm just running the register, I think Josh said, so 
Anyway, I don't know why I keep bringing it up. You can tell I'm excited. <gasps> We went to the library earlier this morning and did the story time. The kids um, were supposed to bring handkerchiefs and we like, they always do like a mixture of songs and books. And yeah, it was pretty hot today actually, but they had a lot of fun. They got to wave their handkerchiefs around and Miller is so hilarious. He just loves to do his little baby dances and yeah, I don't know, it was a great morning, but I did not check out any books for myself just because I already have one I'm trying to work through. Um, but I did pick up this one. I had just been so into like the All Trails app and hiking and just different like back roads and trails ever since Arizona. And so I picked up this book. I thought I have to look if there's anything in the Pennsylvania section that I didn't know about, but also if we go to the Midwest this summer, oh, there's the Arizona trails. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought it'd be, it was in the new section at the library. I always check that new in section out. Um, and so yeah, I had to grab it. Nope, oh, covered bridges in Pennsylvania. There we go. Yeah, I do live in a really nice area for all the hiking, so I definitely wanna take advantage. And I did wanna point out, goodness, this is turning into such a chatty vlog, but Oh, my magazine rack is up there. I had my Robo Rock going, cleaned my floors for me while we were away at the library. It was so nice. Um, but this shirt I actually got off of Etsy. I did find a shirt in Sedona. I didn't love it, but um, I got this one off of Etsy. You could customize this part here. Like I saw some of them said like bachelorette party trip on it or something. But yeah, I just had it say Arizona. So it's like a Sedona, Arizona shirt. And I just love the colors on it. It's so perfect for summer. And I just got a small... I'll have to see if I can link the shop because they had a lot of different locations and just like cute designs all around. Yeah, I really like this one and I've already washed it like three times and it looks brand new. <laughs> to cook supper tonight. Actually, we're having Green Chef for supper and they're working with me on today's video. But they're just really fun to change things up and give you new and fresh ideas. And they're really, some people love them because they say it's quicker. For me, I don't find it to be necessarily quicker. I cook very simply. Um, we do a lot of grilling and salad, grilling and a veggie, that type of thing. I don't often do like several courses for a meal time unless we're having a feast or something like Monty likes to call it but I love them as like a kit an activity it almost feels like a craft that me and Ivani like to do together she loves to do all the cutting of the vegetables and opening the packages and even stirring and she's learning a lot um but yeah we have a lot of fun together making green chef meals and they're complicated with oh there's the dryer stopped <laughs> they're complicated flavors without being complicated to make if that makes sense because they have a chef that develops all the meals and i usually pick my meals based on the protein we're wanting this time i got a chicken coconut chicken and coconut rice one i got a beef tenderloin one that we made last night and then i think tonight we're doing a pork meal okay i'm about to call everyone in for supper but let me break this dish down for you look what i made this I can tell you it smells so good. First of all, I have a beef tenderloin and then it has a cherry balsamic buttery glaze across the top. Um, and like there's sweet cherries on there. So I'm sure that'll be amazing. And then we have roasted potatoes with scallion brown butter. I never add scallions to my brown butter and I already tasted a piece. So delicious. Mm. And then this right here is another way to eat Brussels sprouts that I never thought of before. You slice them in little ribbons, and then it is with like a maple glaze. It is the perfect blend of salty and sweet. That is really good. Wow, okay, this is like a four course meal. I feel like this should be reserved for Sunday lunches or something. So good. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company, and they have options for every lifestyle, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. So yes, I enjoy cooking, so it's not like I would get Green Chef every single week. I still wanna be making my own like home-cooked meals and stuff as well, but Green Chef is such a nice addition to our life, and I think you guys would love trying it out periodically as well. And if you have not tried it out yet, you are in luck because I have a code. MeganFox60 is going to get you 60% off plus free shipping on your first box. So go to greenchef.com for more details and you can get started today. And if you do sign up, have fun shopping for your meals. It's so fun. When you take the broccoli, do you see how it's all connected like that? But if you chop off the whole bottom, look at that. You can put that in the bag, use that like a trash can. And then look, you can kind of break it apart into like smaller sections. 
See that? And when you have the smaller yes. section, they go in this hole, and the trash goes there. So like this one is just a big, tough piece. So you cut off that, and then you can kind of break it into three pieces, and put it in. Okay. Mommy, and I'll like work on the... Boss or like I sound like a boss? Yeah. I'm the boss. <laughs> I am the boss. Okay, I'm gonna do the figs. I don't know how to do figs. I never made anything with figs before. It says cut off the yeah, ends and then finally chop them. Super, super long ago. Well, these aren't that old. <laughs> just because Jesus ate them doesn't mean they're that old. They just grow in the area he lived in. Mommy, am I doing good? Um, yeah, just do it like in pieces that you'd like to eat. Yeah, not like in a huge clump like this big. Supper, Bonnie. Good. Yeah. So we're running out to the greenhouse to grab some annuals. Ivani is going to be in charge of the mailbox flower bed. We're not going to plant them tonight. There's not enough time. But I wanted to claim the flowers at least anyway. You would think that in Leicester County, with all the greenhouses, there'd be plenty of flowers to go around. But for some reason, they're always picked out. So yeah, we're going to go get that done. And I'm going to try to keep my opinion to myself and just let Ivani pick what she wants. So we'll see what she decides on. Are you excited, girl? What are, you, are you back there phone? drawing? <laughs> I'm not drawing. It's not that far of a drive. I just want a color. Okay. Color. Okay, we have to go get a cart. So you picked that one? Why do you like it? Because I like violet. The stars and the violet. Okay, if you change your mind, we can put it back. dropped the kids off at mom and <laughs> I'm headed to clock in and go to work. This is so funny. I thought I left this stage of life behind, but apparently not. Um, Josh seems really excited for me to come work today, which I thought was really sweet. I'm the one that's always wants to do everything together. Um, quality time is my thing. So I think it's going to be super fun. And I like how he does good at like trying to involve me. It's a big change for him, but I think he also acknowledges that it does feel kind of big on my side of things too, which my video announcing about his job change just went up and you guys, I've gotten like so many women saying they've had this same experience and, um, just like totally identifying with the feelings and everything. But then there's some women who are like, good grief, girl, just support him. And they just definitely don't get it. And I guess I wanted to say with that is that, yes, you can support your husband. Um, but 
don't leave your husband like all alone and just be like, yep, yeah, whatever you want, babe. Like every, imagine how lonely it must feel to be a husband when you know that your wife isn't even going to connect her brain or her heart to any decisions. And she's just going to be like, yeah, sure. Whatever you think. Of course, like as we were discussing this and trying to decide what to do, like Josh came to me and I could tell, which I don't expect you guys to understand my husband. That's for me to do, but I could tell that he genuinely wanted my opinion. And so like we definitely talk through all different aspects and things together, but I definitely think that we do our husbands a uh, great disservice if we are not, yes, supportive and knowing at the end of the day they should call the last shot, but don't leave them all alone. Like how, how lonely would it be to know that your wife isn't even going to use her brains and her um, intuition even, whatever, to help you come to a decision? And I know we're all wired really differently too. Like and some of you are not worriers and your husband doesn't maybe even want your input or your support. But in our decision, Josh genuinely wanted me to help him think through everything. And it was like a couple months long process. And so, yes, I don't think he's offended that there's some things that I'm still like uncertain about. And like he understands that's my personality. Um, I'm not just one of those people that just jumps on every bandwagon. I definitely think that being a help me is not just submitting all the time in one word, in one sentence, you know? <laughs> Sometimes our husbands want a partner and they want somebody to talk things through because there really isn't anybody else they can turn to sometimes, you know? And I think we women have great power and great persuasion. At the end of the day, when you have a good man and you know that he has a good head on his shoulders, it makes things a lot easier, a lot less stressful. And I think as women, it's very important to remember, no matter if you are on the same page with your husband in the moment or not, to be praying for them. Because I think sometimes being a man can be kind of a lonely, a lonely calling sometimes. And yeah, I can honestly say through this whole decision making, it's brought us so much closer together. That and our Arizona anniversary trip have just, it's been wonderful. And I'm excited to conquer the world with him. And who knows? I mean, maybe he could fail, possibly. I don't really let myself think about that, but <laughs> I know that he has so many talents and people skills and yeah, he could do just about anything he wanted to. So I guess the decision was just trying to decide what he wanted to channel his energy into. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to say that there. Don't forget you're a help meet. Do some helping. Don't just say yes, dear, and move on with everything in life. But yes, I do want to acknowledge we're all wired very differently. So um, I don't want to speak for you and your relationship. Ah, but anyway, I'm going to settle in for a half an hour drive to work. <laughs> it's still funny to say that. Oh my goodness. I remember now why I quit having a job after two kids. It's just a lot of work getting kids out the door, get Ivani on the bus, get the boys over to mom. Um, after a while, it just was a lot. One a paper, take a donut, and put it into a bag. Just the bag, okay. So do you do any papers in the boxes? No, no papers in the box. Just Miller, say kitty. Okay. It's just perfectly still. Oh, what a day. 
<laughs> we are back in the road again. I, we came home and whirlwind, took showers, and we're off. What did you think? Was it fun working with your wife? It was fun. I had a blast. Yeah, it's exhausting, no. isn't it? Yeah, I, I got only 6,000 steps today, but I am so tired out. <laughs> I was like, I get way more steps momming. I'm way, like, momming, I, I guess it's just different. I'm not used to, like... Yeah, how does your back feel? Fine. Really? Yeah, it's just my legs, my calves. My back hurts. I've... Doing donuts, your back hurts, I feel like, more because you're bending over the countertop. But if I was shorter, it'd probably be better. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, go ahead. Give people an update. How's it going? Um, it's going good. I would say that we feel like we've had maybe a little slower start than what we were hoping for. But on the other hand, we've consistently grown each each week. But as far as um, like this whole week, you've been like donut guy, donut guy, right? But that's not gonna be yeah, normal. Yeah, um, no, it won't be normal. I'm. I hope to only do it one or two days a week in the trailer. So does it feel it's like a good time. fit? Like, are you enjoying it, or like, do you are you hoping to I get mean, out of the donuts a little more? Or yeah, I would like a good mix, which I will get. I would like. I like. I want to keep my fingers in it. It's fun. Um, I also want to do maintenance work. I like I enjoy that stuff. So, while well, donuts, I don't think is my thing long like every day. I don't really want it to be my thing every day, honestly. Um, especially if we start getting out and doing events more, it's going to take one other very ambitious person alongside me if we're going to do that. So. I think that would be so fun. But yeah, the work doesn't stop. You just go, 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 go. Yeah. Fry this, mix that. So right now, I'm the only. There's only two people who know how to mix mix dough, know the recipe. For right now, we're on our staff. It's intense seven hours of work, right? Yeah, I'm whooped. I had fun, but I'm like, you know what? I like being a mom. I like the variety. Like, it was fun running register and like talking to lots of people and stuff. But yeah, it was fun for a day, for sure. He came up from work and he was just, what? You were so delighted that I came and I was, you had fun. Was, it was fun. It's exciting. I, so that made me feel rarely special. Rarely in life do you actually put hands on whatever work I'm doing. Yeah, the arc. Yeah. We worked at the arc, it was like one other time. Like yeah. hands on, you rarely are, do you ever do that? Or even, you never had the chance. Um, so it's kind of cool, yeah. Anyway, we're actually headed to look at some patio stuff. We're trying to make last minute decisions because our patio guys are coming next week. It's very exciting, but there's so many decisions to be made and you can't really undo like the concrete color you pick, it is what it is, and the, the texture and all that. So yeah, we're gonna go get some supper too. Normally on Friday nights we hang out with friends, but anymore I'm fine with having one one night a weekend just our little family. It's kind of kind of nice actually. It's pretty chill. Are you wait? Make the horsey noise. <laughs> Are you whinnying? It's a pretty horse. Now you have to come down. <laughs> I'm too old for this. So we had to film some Instagram content and Saturday, today was the only day that it worked for Josh. Anyway, I was not in the mood. Like I was feeling guilty. Like I shouldn't drag my family into my work, but this is actually, Josh is like, you're providing an experience for us. Like this is super fun. We wouldn't have done this otherwise, so. Are we, we, anyway. we going to get to play at the park? I don't know. Do you think it'll stop raining? Well, I don't know. Um, the goal of this campaign is to um, shoot this Aurora dress that I'm wearing for um, 
in Herrick Clothing Co. So anyway, that's what we're trying to get done. I just figured since we're out in town getting that shot, we might as well do a family like Mother's Day picture. So that's what we're doing now. Um, if, if you're dressed up, you have to hit like 10 birds at the same time, right? <laughs> What did the duck say? Uh -oh. What happened? Quack, 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 quack. Should they get in the water? They should get in the water. Oh, Miller can't get enough. Hey, don't chase them. Good, they're baby. Oh, they have baby ducks? There is? Oh, that would be so cute. See some fuzzy ducks. Josh actually went golfing in the rain. He had a tournament thing and he won, so yay for that. But I took a long, hot bubble bath. It was so cozy and so nice. The weekend is Mother's Day and tomorrow we're gonna be with Josh's mom. Anyway, so I called my mom up and she's like, yes, come over. So we're actually going to be bringing over supper. Um, do you guys ever hear BLT pizza? It is so good. But anyway, we're bringing that over for supper and I wanna make prickly pear lemonades for everyone. They're so good. Um, I got this idea when we were in Arizona. It was just so delicious. So basically you wanna use the more sour lemonade, like the Simply Lemonade brand, um, or Aldi has a really good dupe, their home style lemonade here. And anyway, use the sour stuff. And then I got this from the restaurant store, which is in my area, but I think you can get it online as well. It's called Prickly Pear Syrup. And what you wanna do is actually put the lemonade in first and then look how pretty your drink gets. Watch this. By the way, this is my cup from my shop. You guys keep selling them out but I think they might be restocked eventually. Aren't those little flowers so pretty? I just think it adds a subtle cuteness to everything. Anyway, you just take a splash of prickly pear syrup and look at that. Look at that, oh, it's so pretty. Don't stir it up, leave it like that. It's just so, so pretty. I love the, like the sunset colors. Bonnie, isn't that cute? <laughs> so pretty. Anyway, you do wanna stir it up to drink it though. Over crushed ice makes it 10 times better. Oh, they say prickly pear is like the combination of bubble gum and watermelon. I wouldn't say I taste bubble gum really, but the watermelon is definitely there. It's just really fruity and delicious. Those of you who have like prickly pears growing in your backyard, prickly pear cactuses, like lucky you, I would probably go through the effort of trying to harvest it and make my own simple syrup if I had that as an option, but hey, this works too. So anyway, I'm gonna take that along and then I made, you guys know these cupcakes, right? The ones with the cream cheese and the chocolate chips. I'm gonna bring these along tonight. And I got my mom a little gift here, I'll show it to you. I got these off of Amazon. They came in a set of four, like a little berry basket. And then I have one of my favorite candles that I have on my website. And I thought it's fun to give her the Sunday mornings one because it's like Mother's Day and Mother's Day is on a Sunday, Sunday morning. <laughs> I don't know, my mom is like such a big time supporter of our website. Every time she needs a gift or a hostess gift or a birthday gift or anything like that, she always comes over and gets something from our shop. And then I also included two, cause they match guys, they're so cute. They match the basket. Two highlighters because my mom is big on, I mean, I don't know if I should say she's big on it, but she loves her quiet. I, as a kid, I remember, as a teenager, I remember coming down the steps and she'd be sitting there on her sofa studying her Bible. She often taught Sunday school, so she'd be like highlighting things and writing things in her notebook. So I thought she'll definitely use those. And then of course, we got our September Farm gift card because their cheese is so good, all their food is good. But anyway, I know she'll have a hundred different ways she can spend that. So it's kind of like Josh's business and my business came together to make a cute little Mother's Day package. Yeah, we kind of do Mother's Day different every year. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's little, sometimes it's the middle of the road. So my mother knows that monetary things is not how much we love her. <laughs> if that was the case, um, we'd never, you know, we should be buying her 
a mansion on a hill or something. Anyway, I'll take you guys along to my mom, but I'll just kind of do like a little montage at the end here. So I'll say goodbye to you now. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. Check out Green Chef and try some of their delicious options. I know you guys will love them and it's just super fun. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.